The Church of Scientology has just opened its controversial new $60 million centre just north of Sydney. Global leader David Miscavige was there. His best friend, actor Tom Cruise, didn't make it, but singer Kate Sobrano performed. Yeah, the event was shrouded in heavy security, but that couldn't stop our own Brian Seymour from revealing what really happened. Hello, mm. mate. Good uh, Larry. It was grand opening yesterday, as Carl's just said. Well, what did you expect and was it everything that you expected? Well, these are, are grand affairs that are filmed for the purpose of putting them on the Scientology channel because that's the only thing Scientologists are permitted to watch. So in that sense it was, but two things were different. There, was a far, there were far fewer people in this crowd, maybe 1,500 as opposed to the five, 6,000 they like for an, an opening of this size. This is their new Australasian headquarters servicing all of Australia and Asia. So very small in terms of that and telling because they have fewer than 2,000 members in Australia according to the last census, and falling. So a lot of people yesterday were flown in from overseas, from Japan, from Russia, and from Taiwan. They're making a big push into Taiwan. Okay. Now, uh, this all happens just as a movie is about to uh, launch in Australia about the leader, David Miscavige. Let's have a look at the opening and the film. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Roll up, roll up for the zaniest show in town. Scientology has transformed the old National Acoustics Laboratory just north of Sydney into its new Australasian HQ. Kate Sobrano provided the entertainment. Outside, while the neighbours were speaking with us, Scientology's hired muscle stormed their driveway. You don't want them on? Don't, don't touch me. Police lectured them on their appalling behaviour as invitees streamed in. Due to low membership in Australia, many were flown in from Taiwan. A random group of unknown academics and a local politician spoke first, then the main attraction, Scientology's global leader, best friend to Tom Cruise. You might see this moment in Anzo history equates to a cosmic alignment of universal factors. At its peak, Scientology had 100,000 members worldwide. That was in 1990. Currently, there are less than 20,000 across the globe. Here in Australia, barely 2,000. And yet they've spent $57 million on this facility. You have to ask, what's going on? I think what's really going on is that Scientology is actually shrinking. And David Miscavige wants to give the opposite impression by buying a lot of real estate and opening up a lot of buildings that stay empty. New York-based journalist Tony Ortega has been exposing abuses in Scientology for 20 years. David Miscavige believes that if he can convince his donors that they're expanding, they'll keep giving money. In a calculated move, this event comes just days before a new documentary film about Scientology hits our screens. Sit down in that chair! Thank you. Now have it comply. Acclaimed British filmmaker Louis Theroux was denied access, so he hired actors to recreate eyewitness accounts of how Scientology's leader David Miscavige treats his people. How you doing, Mr. Squirrel? And I don't want him filming me. Well, you're filming us. To me, the most shocking thing probably was when they popped up at the, um, at the airport. You guys are embarrassing and pathetic. Pathetic. It's disgusting, and it's all over your face. It's been hailed as hilarious by reviewers who say Scientology is revealed as a repulsive organisation. That atmosphere brings out the worst in people. Uh, either they submit or they become one of the predators. Theroux arrives in Australia for the first time this month for a national speaking tour. He also has two new TV shows about to wear on the BBC. His film, My Scientology Movie, opens in cinemas this Thursday. Walk! Walk! Crawl! Get down! Lick the floor! How worried do you think uh, is Scientology HQ about, about this new upcoming movie? Well, I was just thinking that meeting reminded me of a morning show meeting, the way Larry behaves. But um, no, look, they, they are worried. The job, <laughs> that is, that's right. No, don't mess with you. The, um, they are worried because. This, uh, these reenactments and, and what you're seeing in there is actually the way he behaves, David Miscavige behaves to people, physically abusing them, verbally abusing them, spitting at them. And this has gone on for decades. This lays it all bare in a way that's never been seen before and uh, it's uh, being shown all around the world, opens this Thursday in Australia. All right. Plenty of people interested in that. Thank you, mate. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks.